Other breaking news tonight. There have been two arrests in last night's triple homicide in Lebanon. Two boys were shot to death, ages eight and nine, Jesus and Sebastian Perez Salome. The third person killed was 19-year-old Joshua Lugo Perez. All three lived together with the boy's family, although Perez was not a relative. Tonight, police have made two arrests. One of them is 22-year-old Alex Torres Santos, who was supposed to be home on house arrest for two prior criminal incidents and who police say was planning to deal crack cocaine and who allegedly had a gun illegally. The other person charged is under age. Investigators say at least 27 shots were fired with one stray bullet hitting a neighbor who survived. Here is Sonica Bargo's report from the scene earlier today. I'm not shocked that it was down there. I'm just shocked of what it turned out to be. John Dolabom has lived in his Lebanon neighborhood for over 40 years. This neighborhood used to be really calm. Doors open all the time. Everybody knew everybody. But in recent years, we've had some murders in this area, shootouts, including a shooting Tuesday night. Four people hit, three of them killed, and neighbors quite shaken. And that's why I said I looked the way I do because I didn't sleep last night. Lebanon police say the call came in just after 10 Tuesday night on North 5th Street. One of the victims was dead at the scene. The others died after being taken to area hospitals. These shootings are unacceptable. As a mom, I cannot overstate how heartbroken I am for the families. Families mourning two young children, boys ages eight and nine. The other slain victim was a young man, just 19. The fourth victim, a 33-year-old man, survived and is in the hospital after surgery. Dolabom heard the shots. By the time I even got up to go into the kitchen to look out the back door, it just took off like crazy and it wasn't like an automatic. He says officers were out there all night long and police say they're still following up on leads. We have dedicated law enforcement personnel who take these incidents personally. Dolabom says he's glad to hear that. And while he's not scared, he's definitely going to be more careful. I'm going to be locking my door now at night all the time. Sonica Bargo, ABC 27 News.